Hello, this is Michelle again with a bar class. Today you will need a two or three pound weight for arms. You can use uh, cans if you or without. Uh, music 126 beats per minute is what's suggested for bar. If you have one of those little softballs for behind the knee to lift up, I'm using a tennis ball because I don't have, you don't need a ball. But if you have one, it helps keep the position. So let's start with a little warm up here. We are going to releve. So that's lift the heels up. Six, seven, eight. Then we're going to step out into second and then curtsy. First with hands on your hips. Nice and tall through that spine. Four more. I'm going to add the arms. They take a little bit. It's a little complicated. So it's out, then you swirl them up. Out, swirl. Three. Four. Five. Seven. This time we're going to pulse and curtsy. One, two, three, and out. One, two, three. Looking good. Two more. And then we're going to switch to the other side. Last one. Fish in second. Step back together. Hands on hips. Other back for curtsy. Second. Curtsy. Nice and tall, abs engaged, warming up those hips. This time we'll add the arms. So we got out, around, out, around. Two more. This next one, add that pulse. One, two, three. Looking good. Four more. Remember, nice and tall. Last one. I'm going to turn on the side here so you can see what I'm doing. Feet are parallel, nice and straight. You want to releve up. Two. Seven, eight. We're going to walk out into plank. And you just want to drop those knees. Keep that back nice and straight. Drop those knees. Four more. Nice and strong. Finish in plank. Swing that right foot forward. Hold that lunge for count of eight. And let's pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come up into crescent. And pulse. Nice and tall. Hands go down. Switch feet. Hold that lunge. And pulse. Find that crescent lunge. And pulse. Back down. Foot back. Walk hands to feet. Slowly roll up. Find those little weights for the arms. We're going to be in first position. You can either stay flat or come up into releve for harder. And we're going to do present. So it's a little V with your arms, just to your shoulder height.
Nice and strong through that core. Engage those glutes. Two more. Stay up. Arms go to the side. We got four circles to the front. Now two bicep curls. You can always drop those heels, whatever you want. Now four to the back. Three, four, two bicep. Repeat front, two, three, four, two bicep. To the back, two, three, four, two bicep. Now hold and bring them front, shoulder height, back to the side. Front, you can drop the weights at any time if they get too much. Two more. Even if your feet are down, engage those glutes and those abs. Now we go overhead. Up, down. Looking good. Two more. Lower. Roll those shoulders real quick. We got a second section of arms with a little bit of legs. So you'll be in curtsy and you'll tap. Because then you'll do curtsy, arms, and then curtsy, kick. So we're just going to start with the tap, curtsy. Three, four. Try to stay nice and tall through that spine. Two more. Now arms. We got little flies. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now you can add that kick. Seven, eight, finishing curtsy. We'll pulse to the front. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Then turn your feet, your weights towards that back foot and pulse. Seven and eight. We have another side. So find that curtsy. And we're going to go out to tap here. So tap. Curtsy. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nice and tall. Core engaged. Add those arms. Fly. Two more. This time, add that kick. Four more. Last one. Finish that curtsy and pulse. Three. And towards that back heel and pulse. Shake that out. We're done with these. So now we're going to the bar. I'm going to be on how I would be in class. So your feet will be open up into first, which right here you want to turn from your hips, not the knees. So you've got parallel, open up into first. Then you got plie, releve, up, down. Plie, releve, straighten those knees, then down. One, two, three. We're going to pick it up. One, two, three, four. <laughs> nice and tall. Core engaged. Light grip on that bar or chair in my case. Finish in first. We're going to go out into second and first. Hand can stay on hip or if you want to use the arm, here is first. 
Just a second. Two. You can follow it with your eyes, ballerina style. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. This time, attitude will be up. So your hand goes up when your leg does attitude. So we've got out, attitude. Nice and tall, remember to breathe. This next time, we'll pulse the knee up. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, three. Four more. Last one. Hold right here. Hand can stay here or go to hip, and you want to extend that foot out, in. Try to keep this thigh level. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, keep it out, and pulse. Two, little pulses. Four more. Bring that foot to that knee, and passe, which is the knee opens, and close. Open, close. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That leg we're standing on, cross it over the one that was working. Sit back into a figure four. Come up, turn towards the bar, bar etiquette. Other side, so we got that first position, open from the hips. We'll roll through the feet slow. Go down, up, up, down. One, two, three, four. Looking good, nice and tall, core engaged. Let's speed it up, one, two, three. One, two, two more. Last one. Okay, we've got those first to seconds. So second, first, two, three, four. Looking good. This next time, add the attitude. Out, two, two more, then we add that pulse, next one's a pulse, and one, two, three, out, two, three, Four more. Two more. This last one, keep that knee up and out in. Last one, keep it out, and little pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cross that standing leg over. So now we are going to do, if we have the ball, the squishy ball, like a dodgeball, I'm just a tennis ball. You can do it without, so you'll face the bar. You will open your feet up to first position. The ball goes behind your right knee. You kind of are angled for this one. So you angle the cat 
and open up that thigh to that bar. So open, close, open, four, five, six, seven, eight, stay right here, and pulse, two, three, curl, two, three, curl, two, three, curl, one, two, three, three more, Ooh, and there it went, this time stay right here, and plie, plie, nice and tall through that spine, so hold that knee up, Last one, back facing the bar slightly, a ball behind your knee if you have one or not, and heel to ceiling. Two, just come to right behind the standing knee. Four. Last one, keep it up and pulse. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, bring it back down. Just behind that knee and open to the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me hunt that ball down. Other side, so we open up in the first, put it behind that left knee this time, and we've got that curl to open, curl to open. Three, four, five. Looking good, nice and tall when you come up. This last one, Next one will pulse. One, two, three, curl. Two, three, curl. Four more. Last one. Stay here and plie. Nice and tall through that spine. Abs engaged. Two more. Back to that front. Heel to ceiling. So we got up. Two. Nice and long through that spine. This last one, keep it up and pulse. Two, three. Bring it back down just behind that knee and open to the side. Two. Looking good. Two more. Release that ball. We're gonna go down for some abs. Let's see how this works. If we had a regular bar, you grab onto the bar, but you can do this on your elbows. So when you're on your elbows, you want a nice C curve in that spine. Both legs are straight. Look at that belly button. Bring that knee in. I'm going to move the chair. Okay. Now we start over. Yep. Okay. Need enough room. <laughs> so you got that C curve. Look at that belly button. Knee in. Toe up. Flex that foot. And we're doing circles. So you bring it into the inside. Flip down and up. That's one. Two. 
Exhale on the up. Inhale down. Two more. And then we'll reverse it. Last one. Now reverse. Out. Only go the range that you can. Abs are engaged. Two more. Last one. Finish at the top. Point down. Other leg. So bring that knee in. Up. Flex. Circle to the inside. One. Remember to breathe. Keep that nice C curve. Two more. Last one. Now reverse. Out to in. Usually one hip has more mobility than the other. Two more. Finish at the top. Down. Shake that out real quick. We got another little one in that same position with the legs. So come back into that C curve. This time it's just going to be up, point, down. In, point, flex, down. Keep that C curve. One more. Switch legs. So other one. Knee, point, flex, down. Remember to breathe. Conscious of that C curve, abs engaged. Usually do this also on the bar. Now you, we can try Let's try the fans, just four. It's both in, up, flex, down. We're a lot harder without the pool. Down. Two more. Okay, shake that out. We'll so come up onto the knees real quick. We've got back and forward. So count two, three, four, one, two, four. Two more. And we'll just do it quick little section of triceps. So we come down into push-up position. Nice long on the knees. A nice slow tricep. Up. Two. Four. Nice and long through that spine. Push back into child's pose real quick. Thread one arm through. Switch. Come up. Let's flip over. Let's do a little stretching to finish it off. Let's bring one knee in. Extend. 
spin circles one direction now the other now just pull this a little more let's drop it across Back to center. And let's go to the outside. Back to center. Cross it over. Reach through that window. Release. Extend that leg up, circle that ankle, now the other direction, now just pull just a little more if you can, then extend out, no, I didn't reverse this time, now go across. Cross it over. Let's rock up on those knees real quick. You want to settle that one foot into the arch of the other and sit back onto it. Well, you can let it around till you feel it massage that bottom foot. It will be intense. And then switch. Just kind of wiggle till you find that sweet spot. Okay, let's roll shoulders real quick. Reverse the other way. Nice big roll, shoulder rolls. Let's roll the head from one side to the other. And hope you enjoyed a little bar practice with me.